Pascal is a historically influential imperative and procedural programming language. Designed in 1968-69 and published in 1970 by Niklaus Wirth as a small and efficient language intended to encourage good programming practices using structured programming and data structuring. A derivative known as Object Pascal designed for object-oriented programming was developed in 1985. History Pascal, named in honor of the French mathematician and philosopher Blaise Pascal, was developed by Niklaus Wirth. Before his work on Pascal, Wirth had developed Euler and Algol W and later went on to develop the Pascal-like languages MODULA2 and Oberon. Initially, Pascal was largely, but not exclusively, intended to teach students structured programming. A generation of students used Pascal as an introductory language in undergraduate courses. Variants of Pascal have also frequently been used for everything from research projects to PC games and embedded systems. Newer Pascal compilers exist which are widely used. Pascal was the primary high-level language used for development in the Apple Lisa and in the early years of the Macintosh. Parts of the original Macintosh operating system were hand-translated into Motorola 68000 assembly language from the Pascal sources. The typesetting system text by Donald E. Nuth was written in Web, the original literate programming system, based on DEC PDP-10 Pascal, while applications like Total Commander, Skype and Macromedia Captivate were written in Delphi. Object Pascal is still used for developing Windows applications but also has the ability to cross-compile the same code to Mac, iOS and Android. Another cross-platform version called Free Pascal, with the Lazarus IDE, is popular with Linux users since it also offers Write Once, Compile Anywhere development. Code Typhoon is a Lazarus distribution with more pre-installed packages and cross-compilers. Brief description. Worth's intention was to create an efficient language based on so-called structured programming, a recently popularized concept that he had promoted in his book Algorithms Plus Data Structures Equals Programs. Pascal has its roots in the Algol 60 language, but also introduced concepts and mechanisms which enabled programmers to define their own complex data types and also made it easier to build dynamic and recursive data structures such as lists, trees and graphs. Important features included for this were records, enumerations, subranges, dynamically allocated variables with associated pointers, and sets. To make this possible and meaningful, Pascal has a strong typing on all objects which means that one type of data cannot be converted or interpreted as another without explicit conversions. Similar mechanisms are standard in many programming languages today. Other languages that influenced Pascal's development were Simula 67 and Worth's own Algol W. Pascal, like many programming languages of today, allows nested procedure definitions to any level of depth and also allows most kinds of definitions and declarations inside subroutines. This enables a very simple and coherent syntax where a complete program is syntactically nearly identical to a single procedure or function. Implementations Early Pascal compilers The first Pascal compiler was designed in Zurich for the CDC 6000 series mainframe computer family. Niklaus Wirth reports that her first attempt to implement it in Fortran in 1969 was unsuccessful due to Fortran's inadequacy to express complex data structures. The second attempt was formulated in the Pascal language itself and was operational by mid-1970. Many Pascal compilers since have been similarly self-hosting, that is, the compiler is itself written in Pascal, and the compiler is usually capable of recompiling itself when new features are added to the language, or when the compiler is to be ported to a new environment.
The new Pascal compiler is one notable exception, being written in C, the first successful port of the CDC Pascal compiler to another mainframe was completed by Welsh and Quinn at the Queen's University of Belfast in 1972. The target was the ICL 1900 series. This compiler in turn was the parent of the Pascal compiler for the Information Computer Systems Multu Mini Computer. The Multu port was developed, with a view to using Pascal as a systems programming language, by Findlay, Couples, Kavouris and Davis, working at the Department of Computing Science in Glasgow University. It is thought that Multum Pascal, which was completed in the summer of 1973, may have been the first 16-bit implementation. A completely new compiler was completed by Welsh AL at QUB in 1977. It offered a source language diagnostic feature that was implemented by Findlay and Watt at Glasgow University. This implementation was ported in 1980 to the ICL 2900 series by a team based at Southampton University and Glasgow University. The standard Pascal model implementation was also based on this compiler, having been adapted by Welsh and Hay at Manchester University in 1984, to check rigorously for conformity to the BSI 6192, ISO 7185 standard and to generate code for a portable abstract machine. The first Pascal compiler written in North America was constructed at the University of Illinois under Donald B. Gillies for the PDP-11 and generated native machine code, the Pascal P system to propagate the language rapidly. A compiler porting kit was created in Zurich that included a compiler that generated code for a virtual stack machine, i.e., Code that lends itself to reasonably efficient interpretation, along with an interpreter for that code, the Pascal P system. The P system compilers were termed Pascal P1, Pascal P2, Pascal P3, and Pascal P4. Pascal P1 was the first version, and Pascal P4 was the last to come from Zurich. The version termed Pascal P1 was coined after the fact for the many different sources for Pascal P that existed. The compiler was redesigned to enhance portability and issued as Pascal P2. This code was later enhanced to become Pascal P3, with an intermediate code backward compatible with Pascal P2 and Pascal P4, which was not backward compatible. The Pascal P4 compiler interpreter can still be run and compiled on systems compatible with original Pascal. However, it only accepts a subset of the Pascal language. Pascal P5, created outside the Zurich group, accepts the full Pascal language and includes ISO 7185 compatibility. UCSD Pascal branched off Pascal P2, where Kenneth Bowles utilized it to create the interpretive UCSD P system. In the early 1980s, UCSD Pascal was ported to the Apple II and Apple III computers to provide a structured alternative to the basic interpreters that came integrated with the Apple II, and which was shipped as the initial default programming environment for the Apple III. The UCSD P system was one of three operating systems available at the launch of the original IBM PC. UCSD Pascal used an intermediate code based on byte values, and thus was one of the earliest byte code compilers. Pascal P1 through Pascal P4 was not, but rather based on the CDC 6660-bit word length. A compiler based on the Pascal P4 compiler, which created native binaries, was released for the IBM System 370 mainframe computer by the Australian Atomic Energy Commission. It was called the AAEC Pascal Compiler, after the abbreviation of the name of the commission. In the early 1980s, Watcom Pascal was developed, also for the IBM System 370. An example of educational use. Into the 1990s, Pascal was still running on VAX terminals at GMU. 
Pascal books were sold and taught to fulfill the programming requirement. Object Pascal, Turbo Pascal Apple, Computer created its own Lisa Pascal for the Lisa Workshop in 1982, and ported this compiler to the Apple Macintosh and MPW in 1985. In 1985 Larry Tesla, in consultation with Nick Lausworth, defined Object Pascal and these extensions were incorporated in both the Lisa Pascal and Mac Pascal compilers. In the 1980s, Anders Helsberg wrote the blue label Pascal compiler for the NASCOM2. A re-implementation of this compiler for the IBM PC was marketed under the names Compass Pascal and Polypascal before it was acquired by Borland, renamed Turbo Pascal. It became hugely popular, thanks in part to an aggressive pricing strategy and in part to having one of the first full-screen integrated development environments, and fast churnaround time. Additionally, it was written and highly optimized entirely in assembly language, making it smaller and faster than much of the competition. In 1986, Anders ported Turbo Pascal to the Macintosh and incorporated Apple's Object Pascal extensions into Turbo Pascal. These extensions were then added back into the PC version of Turbo Pascal for version 5.5. At the same time Microsoft also implemented the Object Pascal compiler. Turbo Pascal 5.5 had a large influence on the Pascal community, which began concentrating mainly on the IBM PC in the late 1980s. Many PC hobbyists in search of a structured replacement for BASIC used this product. It also began to be adopted by professional developers. Around the same time a number of concepts were imported from C to let Pascal programmers use the C-based API of Microsoft Windows directly. These extensions included null terminated strings, pointer arithmetic, function pointers, an address of operator and unsafe typecasts. However, Borland later decided it wanted more elaborate object-oriented features, and started over in Delphi using the object Pascal draft standard proposed by Apple as a basis. The Delphi product was a complete hide and a comprehensive range of pre-coded customizable objects known as the Visual Component Library. The underlying language was Object Pascal. The main additions compared to the old EOP extensions were a reference-based object model, virtual constructors and destructors, and properties. Several other compilers also implement this dialect. Turbo Pascal, and other derivatives with units or module concepts and modular languages. However, it does not provide a nested module concept or qualified import and export of specific symbols. Other variants Super Pascal was a variant that added non-numeric labels, a return statement and expressions as names of types. The universities of Wisconsin-Madison, Zurich, Karlsruhe and Wuppertal developed the Pascal SC and Pascal XSC compilers, aimed at programming numerical computations. TMT Pascal the first Borland compatible compiler for 32-bit MS-DOS protected mode, OS, 2 and Win32 operating systems. Also the TMT Pascal language was the first one which allowed function and operator overloading. Pascal SC originally targeted the Z80 processor, but was later rewritten for DOS and 68000. Pascal XSC has at various times been ported to Unix and Microsoft IBM operating systems. It operates by generating intermediate C source code which is then compiled to a native executable. Some of the Pascal SC language extensions have been adopted by New Pascal. Pascal Sol was designed around 1983 by a French team to implement a Unix-like system named Sol. It was standard Pascal level 1 but the definition allowed alternative keywords and predefined identifiers in French and the language included a few extensions to e-system programming. 
The Sol team later on moved to the Corusos project to design a distributed operating system. IP Pascal was an implementation of the Pascal programming language using Micropolis DOS, but was moved rapidly to CPM running on the Z80. It was moved to the 80,386 machine types in 1994, and exists today as Windows, XP and Linux implementations. In 2008, the system was brought up to a new level and the resulting language termed Pascaline. It includes objects, namespace controls, dynamic arrays, along with many other extensions, and generally features the same functionality and type protection as C-Hash. It is the only such implementation that is also compatible with the original Pascal implementation, which is standardized as ISO 7185.